a lot of you asked, how can I locate vehicles at a good enough price to turn a profit? Well, you asked for it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, if you buy or sell vehicles for a profit, or if you want to, then you're in the right place. This is the Flipping Genius Podcast. I'm the host, Randy Lee. And for the about the last 13 years or so, I've been a licensed auto dealer in the great state of Alabama. I'd like to say that if I can do it, anybody can do it because I do it without really a lick of mechanical skill. And that's what we talk about in Flipping Genius. We're doing it on video now, so that's why you're hearing me talk about it and not hearing the cool music that you always hear. But uh, you can also listen to us at the website, flippinggenius.com, and we're heard, the podcast is heard at wherever you listen to uh, podcasts, just search Flipping Genius. Frankly, it's probably a little bit more professional than the video version, but I'm, I'm just getting this going, I'm trying to do my best to make it look professional, sound professional, and uh, at, like you heard in the, the uh, intro earlier, we're going to be talking about finding deals, and I'm going to give you some samples of deals that I found recently, uh, just to show you that I do it, you can do it too. So uh, push a couple of buttons and we'll be right back. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, tuning in to Flipping Genius Podcast. This is episode number 59. And uh, if you haven't listened to all of them yet, I understand, but I hope you do. And today uh, we're going to, as I said in the, the little tease interview or uh, spot there, we're going to talk about locating vehicles, where you can locate them, how do you locate vehicles that are going to uh, be be purchased at a price that you can turn around and make a profit, which is obviously the, the whole goal of this whole thing. Uh, so I thought I'd go right to some live stuff, some actual stuff that I've done recently and, and give you an idea of how I do it and, uh, and then talk about a little bit about that. So the first one I'm going to do is one I just did today. And that's always kind of cool. I like to, to talk about uh, something that's happening fresh. Uh, usually on Tuesday mornings, which today is Tuesday, March 2nd, as I record this, 2021. And uh, usually on Tuesday mornings, I go see my friends at the dealer auto auction in uh, Athens, uh, Alabama, and, uh, and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, about 400, 500. I don't know how many other dealers are there. Today, they had, I think, around 400 cars to, to sell. And uh, I bought the first runner that came through. Uh, I call it a runner because it, it actually runs. They start the auction off in this case with what they call in-ops or inoperable vehicles. I rarely buy those because as I've said in the, uh, in the, in the uh, opening, um, that's not my strong suit. I, I rely, as you know, if you've listened to past podcasts, I, I rely on my mechanic, uh, my mechanics at Dennis Johnson, primarily uh, the guys down there help me and they can't help me a lot if I drag something in that doesn't run at all. Um, they have, they have, I've bought things, but most of the time I wait until something that runs comes through. And today, the first thing that came through was a 2007 Ford F-150 XL Super Cab with a 5.4 liter V8 engine, automatic transmission, and four-wheel drive. It's a work truck, a uh, pretty basic work truck. It's got, a, it's got the, the uh, uh, extended cab. So there's, there's seating for up to six people in it, which I think is great. It's got a short bed, uh, got real good tires on it. And uh, I, I use my auction system that I always talk about and that you get when you become a flipping team member. I always use that. So I was prepared when I got there. And it seems like I'm doing better at, that, at, at those initial uh, vehicles lately when prices are high, and they are high right now because of tax time, it seems like you've got a better chance early before everybody gets settled in. And that's probably why I think I got a hell of a deal on this vehicle. Um, so when I, I talk about my auction and analysis system, I've done my homework before I ever get to the auction. And now I know what my numbers are and what I, what I wanna spend on this vehicle. And I've talked about that before that it just seems to slow the whole, the whole time seems to slow down. And that's a, a pretty cool thing. And that's absolutely what happened here. Now, before the auction started, I was spending a little bit of time with some vehicles, including this one, 
taking a look at it and seeing what was wrong with it. There's definitely a few things wrong with it. Um, and when they rolled it through, it had to have the uh, the jump box on it, which I loved because it turned out after afterwards, I was able to put my jump box on it, start it up, pull it off, and it drove out. So it, it, uh, it was, the alternator was working. That was my concern there that the alternator wasn't working. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, I bought this old uh, truck it's funny because it looks almost identical to the truck that I drive personally. Um, probably, probably a little nicer. Uh, I got it for nineteen hundred dollars, and with uh, the auction fees. That for those of you that don't know about auctions yet, uh, there's always fees that you have to pay, and some auctions are more than others. With all the fees and everything, and including my fifty dollar discount for being a member of the uh, independent uh, auto dealers association that that we talk about. Uh, I had uh, about 2150 bucks that I read, had to write a check for for the vehicle right out of the chute. Now, I, I want to, I'm going to step back and say, you know, I've talked about the auction analysis uh, system, and that's part of what you get when you become a flipping teammate, a uh, flipping team member. So I would encourage you to do that uh, because that's how we're trying to build this program. And, and uh, I really appreciate all you guys who did it this week. And I, I, just invite everybody to come. You get a hell of a package. Uh, that's, I'm proud of what we put together because it's, it's your money's worth plus some. Um, oh, hey, here's a. Oh, we're doing this on video now too. So if you want to go back and listen to the video, if you're not already watching the video, and uh, on the video you're going to be able to see some things, uh, including me make more mistakes. <laughs> but these are the hats that you get when you join the the uh, the flipping teammates. <laughs> uh, a program, pretty cool little uh, hat with the, the Flipping Genius logo on it, and you get to pick black or white. But anyway, off of that, uh, 07 Ford F-150 XL, 1900 bucks. The total cost was about 2150. Um, I drove it out of the thing, drove it around a little bit. I still got to take it to the dentist, the, the mechanic. But I'm I'm guessing on this one. I, I have to guess because we haven't got it there. I know I've got some electrical stuff. I got to get a battery in it. It's got great tires. Um, it seemed like everything worked, but I, I guarantee you, Dennis will find five hundred dollars for the repairs. Hopefully, he's not listening to this because he'll he'll. <laughs> uh, but I, I I I know I'm I know it wouldn't matter if he's listening or not. Um, but I'm guessing about five hundred dollars for the repairs. I'm usually pretty pretty close on that. Um, I add in my overhead cost to the vehicle. So I estimate that I'll have about $2,900 into a vehicle. Now, you, if you listen to the podcast, you know, whew, that's a lot of money for me because I, I sell a lot of vehicles. Most of my vehicles, they sell for less than $3,000. But when I get a hold of a truck, I always feel pretty good about it. And we may talk a little bit about my sales, sales process with a truck later on because I don't, I don't think I have time to get into that today. But I've got a unique sales process process, which includes uh, bilingual marketing. If you want to know more about that, I'll tell you what, I, I love the system that I use there. Um, if you want to know more about that, send me an email or better yet, better yet, go to the Flippers Forum on Facebook and ask me the question there and I'll be happy to expound on that. If you're not a member of our Flippers Forum yet, it's free. Just go to flippinggenius.com, click on Flippers Forum and you can join the group there. The idea here is we're building a group of flippers all around the world. I had a guy join this morning from England. Uh, and the idea is we're going to share our questions and our answers. Uh, we'll have a chance to mentor each other or become mentored. Uh, there's, there's folks on there that have sold 30,000 cars. And there's folks on there that probably have never flipped a car. And we are, we're going to build that group. We're going to build it big, but we're going to build it right. No spam and just people who are invited. It's a private group. So if you'd like to know more about that bilingual sales technique that I'm going to use on this truck once we get it back from Dennis, I'd be happy to expand on that. Um, so here's, uh, here's what I found out. I, and I knew most of this already because I, uh, I'd done my homework the night before. But I'm going to show this to the camera here. Uh, this is what I always use is the Kelly Blue Book report because I find that's the most universally accepted uh, by my customers when they ultimately when they come to, to buy it uh and when i plug in all the information the vehicle's got about two hundred and twenty eight thousand miles on it um it's got four-wheel drive like i said and it's got all the other basic features that you get with that vehicle uh 
they tell me the private party price range is 5609 to 8472 and in good condition which i think this probably qualifies for good condition once it's all fixed up it's uh they estimate my sales price would be seven thousand forty one dollars so you got to feel pretty good about that vehicle with twenty nine hundred dollars total in it is what i'm estimating um and i so i expect to sell it uh for i expect to ask 5900 and sell it for 5500 quick now somebody asked uh, in one of the forums I'm I'm in, actually not ours, but a different one. I think it's Jeff Green's forum. Uh, somebody asked, "Would you take less money in order to sell it quicker?" And I say, "Absolutely yes." Um, and when we get to the second car, you're going to see that I <laughs> definitely practice what I preach on a on a, a live flip there that actually happened already. Um, but I'm already anticipating that if I lower the price, I'm going to get a lot of people renting to buy it right away, and I'll be able to flip it quick. If I flip it at $5,500, I will net $2,600 on that vehicle. And heck, that's fantastic for you know a, a, a couple of weeks involvement in this and tying up just a little bit of money. Now I'll post pictures and updates of this transaction on the flippers forum too, because it's it's a good looking vehicle. I've got pictures of it already. It's already pretty clean. Eh, I don't know, it's, it's work trucks, it's dirty inside, beds dirty. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll take some pictures of it and put it on there uh, so you can see what we're dealing with and give you an update on this one. Um, and let's see. Like I said, join the Flippers Forum. If, if, if you uh, don't want to go to the website and for some reason and do it, uh, flippinggenius.com, just go there. Or for some reason, that's a struggle. Just email me at flippingquestions at gmail.com and I'll send you an invitation so you can join the Flippers Forum. Uh, but that's that's going to be uh, a, a great tool for us to to uh, expound on all of the genius stuff that we're doing. Um, I'm going to talk about a, a, a second vehicle uh, in just a second. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the uh, the flipping teammate program and and the reward system that you get. Hang on. Okay, take a little break. Hey, uh, um, I'll tell you what, I, I'm going to hold tight with you guys and uh, tell you, we've got a, a fantastic program that uh, it's taken about a year to develop all this stuff. And if you'll go to our website, flippinggenius.com and click on the uh, uh, become a team member uh, link, you'll see that, or you'll see a private access box, which is we, we're still developing this program, but right now I want to tell you about the flipping teammate program, just tier one. Uh, when you join, it costs nine dollars and ninety nine cents a month. When, when you join, we instantly send you out about two hundred and I think it's two hundred fifty five dollars worth of, of uh, downloadable material, uh, audio material, and and even uh, like I said earlier, you get your choice of either black or a white cap. Um, and we send you a, a tube of Kickapoo Joy Juice too. Um, it's uh, everything that's in there. We call it our startup kit, and it's designed to help you get your flips off the ground. And if you're already an experienced flipper, I know you know a lot of stuff, but I'm giving you everything I know. I'm taking it and making a, a, a professional package that you can start making money right away. And if you're already making money, I think it's going to uh, enhance what you're doing, um, including. Uh, that that uh, auction uh, analysis kit that I just talked about. So go to flippinggenius.com and click on that. Become a team mate, a team member, and we will start sharing that with you. And then each month, you're going to get updates on everything we do, including our, our, our auction list. We've got over, I think it's over 400 auctions uh, internationally now. Uh, our our um, uh, it's it's a great deal. I, I don't want to spend all the time trying to sell you on that, but but join, you'll be happy you did. I'm gonna click pause here, and we'll be right back with that second vehicle. Oh, brown mouse. <laughs> all right, so we're back, back at it, and and we're talking about uh, uh, ways to buy vehicles at a good enough deal to make a profit. And again, the reason I I'm talking about this today is we've done some surveys to the folks on our email list and also to folks that are in our 
uh, Clippers Forum and other forums on Facebook. Uh, and this was one of the top responses that folks are wanting to know, how do I locate vehicles at a good enough price to turn a profit? That's why we're talking about this. Hey, and if you wanna participate in future surveys like that, so that we can put together information that will be, be beneficial in future podcast episodes, uh, join the Flippers Forum. That's the easiest way because we'll definitely we're definitely gonna uh, reach out to everybody who's a member there because it, you guys are the ones that we're talking to. We, we want to know we know who you're talking to. If you join us, it's free, 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 free. <laughs> so. Uh, Here's the second vehicle I want to talk about. Um, this is a, a 2007 Pontiac G6 GT sedan. It had 171,000 miles on it when we bought it. It was a V6 automatic, uh, pretty basic car other than that. Uh, GT basically means it's a V6, I think. And I think this one has a leather interior, but nothing, nothing, and, and it has a chrome wheel. It's nothing real fancy. Uh, I purchased this through a mechanic friend of mine. Um, he uh, and and it, this is this is this is the point here. Really, is not so much to brag about the, the the deal or the vehicle, but this is what I do. I just did it last week. Some more. I get out of the office, get out of the garage, and we head down and call on people. Last week, I think I, I sent an email to a lot of you. I I went out and called on some other car dealers, uh, some uh, uh, title pawn places. And later in the week, actually did this again, talked talk to a couple uh, mechanics. And that's probably actually where I'll spend some time this week uh, because I, I've had some luck with it. Um, in, a, in a time like right now where all of the car dealers that I know are all battling with me, that's why I said I'm so lucky to pick up that truck this morning while they were still sleeping. I was ready, so I was able to jump on it saw the same kind of truck sell for double later on in the auction. Just wow, same same basic thing. Um, makes you think you could just double the, the, the value in the truck and throw it back in the auction. But I'll tell you, I really can't. If you want to know why, <laughs> send me an email or something. So I don't want to get into that. But by, by going out and calling on mechanics, here's what I find. These guys, a lot of times, they'll have customers that can't afford to pay to repair their car right now. You may have heard me talk about this before. And, and that was the case with this Pontiac. So it's sitting in the back lot is what I call it. And that's what Joe called it. Uh, and it's not being repaired. I think this one had been there for about six months. It needed an alternator, it needed a battery, it needed uh, valve cover gaskets because it had some leaks. The oil leaks were causing some uh, problems, you know, getting oil into the, uh, into the spark plugs. Um, mostly just from sitting there and just a couple other minor things that need to be replaced. But the person who owned the vehicle couldn't afford to pay the repair costs, which are going to be maybe 800 bucks or something like that. Um, so I go and talk to the mechanic, say, what do you have? Do you have anything like this? He almost always has something like that. Whether or not it's worth repairing is a whole different deal. This one was pretty good looking vehicle. It was dirty, but I mean, a car wash cleaned it up pretty well. Um, I was able to buy it for $400. That $400, he didn't charge the, he could have charged them uh, uh, storage fees. And some mechanics will, but he didn't. Uh, he took the 400 bucks and we, I bought it essentially from, I bought it from, not essentially, I bought it from that, that, uh, that seller, the, the owner. And now I owned it. And, and as, away and you've heard me talk about Dennis Johnson and I am very loyal to doing work with him but in a situation like this I don't pull the car out of there and take it down the street and have Dennis work on it this is part of the deal they they get to do the work and now they get paid for the work that they had planned on doing and it's another mechanic that I trust and he's a good guy and uh, so the work total let me see I, I've got uh, here we go I've got a uh, my my. This is another thing you get in the in the flippers group, uh, in the uh, when you become a team member, you're going to get this, which is my uh, my profit and loss analysis form. So this is the breakdown on this vehicle. Um, so I uh, I had it for 16 days before I sold it, which is pretty cool. Um, and my total uh, my total repairs, I had to buy an interstate battery, which I get for 45 bucks. 
I keep telling you, I'll give you a link, but uh, as a dealer, I get a dealer price and it's $45 for, for a new battery, which is, which is great. Um, it's called a, it's called a blem battery, by the way. So if you, if you go to your interstate dealer, ask for a blem and that's the deal I get 45 bucks. You, you may get a better deal than me. I'm, if you're prettier than me, you might, you might get a, a better deal. Uh, the repairs for the alternator, the valve cover, the, the other miscellaneous expenses were a total of 604 bucks. So, um, I had uh, 400 bucks in the purchase price. I got uh, fixed overhead costs that I that I tack on to each deal, and that's I'm not even going to tell you what that is because that's that's uh, that's up to me. Your your fixed overhead costs are going to be, you know, whatever they are. Make sure you're tacking them on to each vehicle so you're getting an accurate uh, tabulation of what your cars are costing. That's that's going to be your insurance, your licensing costs, your your lot rent if you've got a lot. Um, whatever you know, whatever are, are fixed that, that you every deal that you do should should get a portion of that based on how many vehicles you think you're going to do for the year. Um, now, I've got uh, acquisition costs, and I, you might call this sales costs. And this is uh, I got 125 bucks, I think 124 bucks, no, 125 dollars. Now that was uh, lunch for the guys and. And and then a, a gift ticket for the the shop owner. Um, now you might, might wonder why don't I just give them cash? I'm going to tell you that. I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, the lunch from for the guys and the gift ticket come from. Well, you, you've heard me talk about Nick's Ristorante, and that's what I used for that. And and you've heard me talk about Itex. And in episode 15, you heard me talk to. Uh, Lisa Smith with uh, Trade Bank. These are barter associations that I belong to. So I'm able to do these things with barter money rather than cash money. Anytime I can do that, I do that. But it still counts. It still counts for my expenses. So that's another 125 bucks I had in there. So my total cost on this vehicle is $1,300. Um, I sold this vehicle for $2,400. And let's see. The customer actually came from the same mechanic, so he fixed the car. <laughs> he found me. He found my buyer pretty much. Literally called me, and uh, this is a kickaboo, kickaboo joy joy. So I'm showing the camera here. <laughs> he called me and said uh, he's got somebody to buy this Pontiac, and wondered if I would want to sell it. Uh, he knew I could probably get around three grand for it, um, which is what the, the, the KBB report showed, it showed that that vehicle should be worth a private party good price, $3,074. And they could have almost brand new tires on it too. So 3,000, I probably could have got for it if I just hung on to it. But he said he had somebody that could pay about $2,400, $2,500 for it. And uh, is a, uh, one of his customers' uh, kids, I think. And he said, this is a good car. I know, you know, and he, and, and Randy's a good guy. He'll take care of you. So, um, yeah, we, we sold the vehicle, um, I think, in total of 16 days holding time for $2,400. And my total uh, cost on it was about $1,300. So I made $1,100 on that. And, and this, is, um, this is something really important here. I built a strong relationship with that referral source because you know, not only did I take care of him when he when he did the work and take care of him, you know, with the with the um, the gift certificates and the, and the lunch for the guys from a great barbecue place that's also in the barter exchange, um, but but he's going to send me more business because I took care of you know I took care of that and I took care of business, uh, I took care of his customer and I took care of the next customer, so that's a that's an exciting little sidebar of that and and I wanted to talk about about barter because. One thing, if you've been listening to the podcast all the way through, you heard me talk a lot in earlier episodes about iTex and Nick's Ristorante. And, and I, I, I wanted to jump back in because I haven't been doing the advertisements. And you may be thankful because you don't want to hear all the advertising. But I, I want to I say these guys are great friends and they are, 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 they've been great sponsors of the show. And I appreciate you know, what they did. They're tremendous businesses. I am very active in, in iTex barter still. Uh, and, and Nick's Restaurante is still one of the greatest restaurants in North Alabama. 
Uh, but there's been some changes in ownership in, in both cases. And I want to congratulate Gene and Nick because they're both semi-retired. What a cool thing that is. And uh, two great, great businessmen. And we're still very much doing business with, with both of them uh, as a member of ITEX and as a customer of, of Nick's. Anytime I can break away and go have a meal at Nick's Restaurante is a time that I will probably gain weight. <laughs> it's, it's the good weight, right? Um, now, I bring this up because I, I, I also, I, I want to note, uh, let's see, I'm reading my notes here. Oh, I, the, the, the idea here, and I, and I said it a couple of seconds ago, is that, is that um, we, we did those certificates and that lunch all on barter. And no matter what business you're in, the flipping business is what we're talking about, but a lot of you guys have other businesses too. I mean, I do, I've got other businesses too. And anytime that you can do your business at the cost of doing business, I mean, all of us have markups on these cars that we're flipping, right? So our cost of business of, of selling a car at retail, obviously we, we've got a lower cost. So we'd, we'd even like to trade that. But in my case, I've got another business that's got a, a, a better markup. So when I buy these, um, these meals for people or anything I buy with barter, it's much better than doing it with cash. So um, that's kind of the, the gist of it. Now, I want to um, I want to mention uh, a couple things going on because I, I, this is something, and I've done episodes on it before, and I and I talked about barter a lot, and I I wouldn't mention it to you if I didn't think it would make you money, but I, I know that it will. So I want to I want to touch on this a little bit. Um, in episode fifteen, uh, we had Lisa Smith, a very good friend of mine, who's the local owner of Trade Bank, which is another another one of the barter associations. I belong to three. It's another one that I belong to. She owns Trade Bank of Huntsville. She's a, a franchise member owner. And um, she does a fantastic job. And she was on episode 15 of Flipping Genius. And next week I'm I'm gonna have the privilege of being on Lisa's new podcast. She's got a podcast called Barter Boom Barter Bing along with her uh, co-host, Ed Fox from uh, uh, Wichita and Nashville. He owns two franchises with Trade Bank, uh, Wichita and Nashville. Ed's actually from Australia, real interesting guy. And uh, that business has helped me in so many ways. I'm looking forward to, to telling some stories on there. They'll probably, I don't know, they may ask me some car stories as people always do, but but I've got so many barter stories. That'll be a lot of fun uh, talking to those guys. And so if you haven't, if you want to learn more about barter, that's a great one. They, they have nice little short uh, episodes. At least they haven't, they haven't met me yet. And I've talked too much probably, but usually 20, 25 minutes long. And it's called Barter Bing, Barter Boom. Uh, real, a lot of fun. And this past week I was interviewed on a podcast called Profit from Trade, which is another a really, really good barter, uh, barter-based uh, podcast uh, with a, a guy that I've done some business with out of Florida, and he he started the podcast a lot from our conversation he had with me. His name's Tom Hood, and Tom does a fantastic job. He's a great educator. Does a fantastic job explaining how barter can be a part of your business and all different elements of barter, not just barter exchanges, but one-on-one -on -one barter and how to make how to make that that work and how to incorporate that into your business strategy um, to look that up to profit from trade. I'll probably put links to both of those on the, our Flipping Genius website so you can find them. But these are these are great ways to make some, uh, uh, find additional opportunities. I, I just leave it at that. And uh, all these guys are, you can, if you search either one of those, you'll find them at Apple, Spotify, and Google and Anchor Podcasts. Um, they're, they're just getting the podcast going, but they've got a lot of good episodes, especially Tom. He's definitely got, he's got, uh, I think I'm on episode six coming up and he's got a lot of really good information. You, you, I really recommend you take a look at that. Uh, if you, you want to learn a little bit more about what we're talking about. And, uh, if you need to, if you, if you want me to, I'll send you links, just email me at flippingquestions at gmail.com. And I'll send you the links to both of those. And, um, uh, it really, we, we send out a weekly communication with everybody on the, the list. If you're not on it yet, I encourage you to, to, to ask to be to be a part of it. You can do it through the website. Or you can send me an email at flippingquestions.com. 
at, at gmail.com and we'll add you that way. And hey, here's a here's a little uh, bonus incentive. Um, if I've talked about this before, I just mentioned it before. This is the the uh, P and L statement, the P and L form that we use it's called the the individual vehicle profit or loss analysis form that we include in in the um, the kit, the startup kit when you join as a flipping team member. Well, for the next uh, 197 hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. But if you'll send me an email and just uh, put P and L uh, in the title, uh, P and L, or any way that you want to spell P and L uh, in the title, I'll send you the PDF of this form for free that that you you get when you become a team member. But I'll send it to you because the frankly, it's really important that that you're keeping accurate track of your flip so you know if you're making a profit. And I'm showing on the camera here, you can see I use this form. This is the form I actually used on that Pontiac. You can see right down there. I know you can't see it in the microphone. Uh, <laughs> the profit of 1100 bucks. Um, so, hey, if you're listening on the podcast, you say, why am I, how can I see all this? Just go to the Flipping Genius uh, YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, type in Flipping Genius. You'll find our YouTube channel. We just started going, doing a video podcast in episode 58. So you haven't been missing a lot, but we're going to start doing that because we know a lot of guys use, use uh, YouTube to, to learn stuff. And we thought we want to be where you're at. So we're there too, um, as long as, as well as all the other places you'll find Flipping Genius all the time. Um, now I'm talking a lot today about making money on deals. And I, I'm, go, I'm trying to go back to my, my script here. Anyway, hey, I know what I, I if you haven't already become a, a flipping team member, I, I, I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, it's it's such an important part of, of what we're doing. But another thing I, I want to tell you about, because it, there's so many guys out here that are doing some good things that try to help us all make money. I, me, I mentioned Jeff Green earlier, and Jeff, I think he listens to most of the shows, and I really appreciate that. And a lot of you guys know Jeff. He's from from Texas, uh, and he he's got some great things going. He's got a really nice flippers forum that I go to and 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 learn some stuff from. And Jeff's a part of our flippers forum too. Um, I um, giving Jeff a lot of information here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I say that because there are a lot of guys out here doing uh, things like what I'm doing right here, and one of them is Jeremy Fisher. And uh, Jeremy was on our, our uh, podcast back in uh, episode 42 or something like that. And, and he has a great course out called uh, Three Hour Car Flip and Three Hour Car Flip Academy. And I, I want to encourage you to take a look at, at Jeremy's course. Um, I'm going to take a little break and tell you guys a little bit more about it. So I just clicked off over here. But um, if, if you want to learn more about uh, Jeremy's course, Three Hour Car Flip, just go to our website, flippinggenius.com, click on resources, and you'll see, uh, go to more great stuff. It takes you right down to, to Jeremy's course. And you can buy it for 49 bucks. And Jeremy's course, literally, if you're, if you're new to car flipping, it, it is a hell of a deal. Frankly, I was I was in the, the midst of putting together the same kind of course, and and I just found I just found that that Jeremy had done it had done it well, and he'd done it for less than I planned on charging you. So, forty nine bucks, you get a great uh, video and a booklet, a a, a, a a textbook, and you get access to to any updates that he makes to it in his lifetime. So um, check that out, it'll, it'll help you. You'll see some sample videos on our website too, so you can see kind of how he works. Great educator. Jeremy's had over 2 million downloads of, of his uh, materials online. So definitely a guy that knows what he's doing. Um, check that out. I'm gonna hit pause, I'll be right back and we'll go into the last section of this. Not gonna wear you out too much. Hang 
Okay. I am, I am trying, I'm going to try to keep this episode uh, short enough that uh, uh, you'll want to keep coming back. So I'm not going to go into every detail on the rest of these, but I've got a couple uh, more places that I uncovered deals lately that I want to share with you along this same line. Um, number three, this will be an interesting one, I think. Um, as you know, I, I advertise that I buy cars uh, everywhere. I, I, I've got business cards. I've got uh, post-it notes. I've got, um, I've got uh, bandit signs. Um, and and I, I advertise it all over Facebook groups and on uh, uh, any place that I can put it. Um, so I'm, I'm constantly saying, I buy cars, I buy cars. And sometimes, sometimes that works. So I encourage you to do that. Um, if, if you're consistent with anything, I think it, it works out. So I, I got a call this week, uh, last weekend, actually. Uh, a guy called me. He had a, a 2006 Chrysler PT Cruiser. I don't like those very much. But uh, like I told you, it's kind of tough buying cars right now. Car prices seem really high. I don't know if that's going to last forever, but of course it's tax time. It's, that's a big part of it. And the guy said that it runs, but it stalls out. And he said, he said this, he said, I, I don't know much about cars, but I just can't afford to fix it. I just, I don't really know what's wrong with it. Um, but I don't think it's anything real major. And he said, it looks okay, but the front bumper is missing. <laughs> and I asked him what he's got to get for it. And he said, $700. And I, I told him right off, I, I'm not going to give you $700 for it. Because he said it's, it starts, but it won't idle, won't stay idling. And if you drive it, it'll drive down the road and get to the stop sign. It'll stall again. It'll start back up, but, but you got to keep it running with your foot on the gas. Frankly, my gut instinct was telling me it's probably got a blown head gasket. And that's what I've seen a lot on PT Cruisers. So that was what I was thinking. But anyways, I, I said, if you'll take less than 700 bucks, I'll probably come out and take a look at it. And he said, okay. And uh, he gave me his address. Now, the first thing I do is I always look up the address. And and you can, when you Google it, you can also see the um, uh, the, the street uh, view. So I always look at the street view, want to know where I'm going. When I looked at the street view, uh, the first thing I saw that he was that he had an engine hoist in his driveway in this picture. So... I'm pretty sure this guy knows more about the car than he's letting on. So frankly, I haven't gone back to see that one yet. And uh, that's the end of that story. <laughs> but it's not the end of the story, really, because a lot of times I get calls like that and they are good. So I encourage you to do that. So to answer this, this question, this is one of my best ways to get the phone to ring and to get deals is from individuals who call me. They want to sell their car. A lot of times they have something wrong with them. Uh, but I don't mind something wrong with the car if I can fix it, but a lot of cars aren't worth fixing. And, and if you look up uh, 06 uh, PT Cruiser with 200,000 miles on it, there's just not a lot of meat, meat left on that bone. So that's not one that I'm interested in. Now, on the other hand, uh, I, I also went out, I, I mentioned I went out and made some face-to-faces. And one of them, one of the places I went to, I went to three title pawn shops. Uh, I only saw two of them, though, because one of them wasn't open yet. I stuck my business card through the little opening in the door just in case. Um, and basically what I do there is I stop by and say, you know, I buy cars and, and I want to know who buys their repos. And usually they tell me it's above their pay grade. But I, I, and it's somebody else that deals with that. But I give them my card and say, pass this along. Uh, if they come back, come by, give them my card. Uh and, and tell them I might be interested in buying what they've got. So anyway, I did that, and I got a call from somebody uh, at one of the places that's got an 03 Lincoln Town car, which is a car I really like. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I mean, that, that's a car I typically like. Um, and she said that they got to get $1,400 for it. Uh, I don't know that that's written in stone. That's a little high for a, for a 2003, but I haven't seen it yet. It could be a really nice car. Usually they're not at title pawn places. Usually they're not, but I believe that it's negotiable. Uh, in some cases, they, they're taking bids too. So it depends on what you get there. But I haven't got a call from these guys in a while. They, they've been selling their things at auction. So it's interesting to me that, that I got a call and it's worked well in the past. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for 13 years. So it's been a couple years ago since I since the title pawn places really worked, but I'm, I'm excited to, to get that going because I went back in and knocked on the door. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking 
not only maybe I, I could buy a town car, which I, I always do well with those, um, but also uh, I might have a new resource. So that's exciting. So that's, uh, those, are, those are four opportunities I uncovered. Um, you know, one best by getting off my butt and going to the auction this morning, like I do every week. And the other one's by, by getting out and doing what I do. Um, so those are, those are four ways. Hey, guys, if you've got ways to do this, this is a great big old world. And we're dealing with folks that are trying to flip cars all around the world, especially here in the United States. Most of our listeners are in the United States, but we have listeners everywhere. And on the Flippers Forum, the idea is to help each other. So I invite you to become a member of the Flippers Forum and then come in and share your ideas. Uh, if you think I'm full of crap, tell me I'm full of crap or tell me, tell me why you don't think it'll work. If you think it will work or you got an idea how I could do it even better, I'd love to learn from you too. So uh, join the Flippers Forum, uh, become a flipping team, mem team uh, member. I think I've said these things 90 times. I'm, I'm sure I'm driving you crazy, but please do it because that's, that's, uh, that's how we're all going to get better. And the, the number one goal of the podcast is to help our listeners make more money. And that is what I'm trying to do. So please subscribe. Please save us as a favorite. Please share us with your friends. Please come back often and listen to every flipping podcast. Hey, take check out our, um, our, our YouTube channel. If you're not already looking at me right now, uh, check out the YouTube channel and subscribe there and take a listen. Look at everything. We've got a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Uh, shorter ones called the coaching up series of some good stuff maybe just to to inspire or to engage you a little bit um, got a lot of great episodes coming up and please go to flippinggenius.com and check out our resources page look at the deals you have there and uh, I, i'll uh, i'll probably put links there to the, the podcast i mentioned too because those those could be benefit to you and um I think that's about that's about the story today, right? <laughs> hey, let's all work together. Let's make some money. Let's all become flipping geniuses. See you next time.